Hello. Welcome to Third Time's a Charm. <laughs> right. I started watching a TV show I put off for a lot, of, a, a considerable amount of time because I know it got cancelled. So I've I've a horrid thing in the back of my head saying it may not have a conclusion. But I decided to give it a go anyway because some time ago I bought a whole bunch of TV series from my friend Tristan and this was one of them. I've, as I said, just not watched it. So I thought I'd give it a go because I know my friend Jason likes the show and a few people recommended it. It is the loosely adapted from the Colorado Kid TV show Haven. Now you won't see any flashing images pop up because I'm going to be uploading this straight away once I, if I actually successfully record a video <laughs> anyway so yeah season one as you can see Emily Rose Lucas Bryant and Eric Balfour on the front complete season one this is I've just finished what I well I say just finished watching finished watching this last night started season one earlier today finished sorry See, as you can tell, it's late and tired. Ugh. Finished season one last night, started season two today. Uh, finished the first disc. Fantastic. I love the nods to Stephen, other Stephen King properties. In fact, one of the first couple of, I think it's episode three, Love Machine is practically a nod to uh, Stephen King's Maximum Overdrive. Machines come alive and kill people. Right, I won't say any more besides that, but yes. Season one, strong start, fantastic performances all round, especially Emily Rose. How she comes into it and how it ends is quite a... Ooh, wait, what? Fantastic performances all round. Fantastic. Um... I would recommend this show to anyone who's put it off because of, you know, reasons, sci-fi cancelling or not sure whether it'll be a good show, a bit iffy on King adaptations or however you, whatever reasons you had to put it off. I thoroughly enjoyed this and it's, it takes a lot for me to enjoy a show these days and this definitely one I've thoroughly enjoyed. So season one, I give a solid 8 out of 10. Dated effects and a few head scratching moments. Well, I've knocked a couple of points off it, but I'm on season two right now. So when I end that, I'll put another video up to say this, what are my thoughts on that. Um, now, quick note on other videos. I have a load of footage recorded from the end of my walk and because I know content stopped. I apologize about that. And I've got other things recorded, like I said, uh, oh, I haven't said yet. Um, I've got a Sentinel issue 7 video recorded. And uh, I've received Crackpot 8. Oh, sorry, I've received my fir the first issue of Crackpot. So that'll be coming soon. Still waiting on the commission from David Metcalf Carr. Still waiting on that commission. Looking forward to receiving that. Um, apart from that... Hello all, I still exist. Uh, I have been watching your content even though I haven't, haven't been commenting quite m much. It's just really all I've been doing is consuming content. Um, so yes, apologies if you, uh, it feels like I've been, you know, abandoning you all. I haven't. I've been enjoying your stuff. I love the hauls. Definitely been loving the haul videos. And I'll consider putting up a review for a couple of movies that I've watched recently. So there's that. Right, this is, yeah, that's a long enough video, I think. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, hope you enjoy this video, and I hope you've been finding yourselves well and keeping care of yourselves, unlike I have of myself. <laughs> you guys take it easy.